Today we are going to talk about time at large. So what is time at large? In many claims related disputes, contractors try to overcome time barring clauses by using the time at large argument. For those of you who don't know what a time barring clause is, please check out one of my other videos which explains the topic. Time at large is a legal argument used by contractors to negate the liquidated damages clause. Time at large is said to occur when the duration of a project is not defined in the contract or is no longer valid. In this case, the contractor could argue that he is no longer contractually obliged to finish by the completion date specified in the contract, so time becomes at large. In such a scenario, the contractor is only required to finish the project within a reasonable period. In this case, the operative word is reasonable, and in order to define it, the contractor usually has to spend a lot of money on claims consultants and lawyers. Now it should also be noted that if the engineer does not properly administer the EOT provisions, the extension of time provisions in the contract, the contractor may be able to prove a time at large argument. For example, if an EOT was not given for a critical delay by the employer in accordance with the contract, the contractor could raise the time at large argument and the employer loses his rights to impose liquidated damages for other critical delays because the time for completion is no longer defined. So, to conclude, time becomes at large in the following situations. The first one, the project duration or the time for completion was not agreed in the contract. Could happen. It might seem strange to some of you, but after being in the industry for over 20 years, I can tell you that this does happen. In fact, stranger things have happened. Second situation, the employer or the engineer does not give an extension of time to the contractor in accordance with the contract say within the periods specified in the contract or a decision is not given at all. Now unless the contract allows for an extension of time to be granted retrospectively, time could be at large. It should also be noted that a mere rejection of an extension of time claim does not automatically result in a time at large scenario unless it can be demonstrated that the rejection was not done in good faith and or the rejection was not in line with the provisions of the contract. A third situation, time also becomes at large when there is no extension of time clause in the contract and the contract is delayed by an employer's delay event or a neutral delay event, say adverse weather conditions. One last thing, time at large is an extensive topic and for those of you who want to learn more, I would encourage you to do some additional research on the subject. That's all. Thank you for watching.